All right, guys, in today's video, we're just going to talk about how to find useful resources to get things that you really need without wasting time. Uh, in this case, this is a Mercury electronic parts catalog. Uh, basically, it's a uh, the schematics for an outboard motor for Mercury. I do I do some work on the outboards now and then on boats, just uh, in the event they need some fixing and I need to get parts, I go right to these schematics because uh, otherwise you're wasting time. You may think you have the right part number, you order the part number and you wasted days to wait for it to arrive and you put it in and go crap, got the wrong part number, I have to return it. Sometimes they won't return it if you try to install it, you know, that type of crap. So prevent all that stress up front. A lot of resources out there. This does not only apply to uh, boat outboards. It can apply to uh, e-bikes. Uh, what else have I seen? Uh, mowers, lawn mowers, cars, of course. Even computers. There's a whole computer schematic page too, based on MSI motherboards for like my stuff you see is uh, CPU mining. When you uh, start building a rig, you can basically say, I want to start with this motherboard. Okay, boom. Then from the schematic and the matrix that comes up, uh, it'll show you, well, here's the compatible memories. Here are the compatible uh, CPU types, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is, this is, in this case, is just for outboard. So with this, like any device, any hardware, <clears throat> anything like that is you have a serial number or you have a model year and date and stuff like that. So I just go over here. Oh, I got to bring open the uh, green circle of truth. Hold on. I always forget this thing. Boy, oh boy. It should be auto magic, but it's not. It's not. All right, there it is. See that little green circle? Follow the green circle. So I go to this Mercury site. It could be Yamaha, it could be, like I said, an e bike, a Tesla, not a, well, maybe not a Tesla, but a, a Toyota Tacoma, whatever. You can find these schematics out there. They're out there to help you. And uh, what's cool about these, you put in your serial number, you put in your model number, your year number, whatever make model all that crap and again it could be computers there is one like i said for motherboards finding compatible parts that go on computers for making rigs it's it's all out there so it takes away takes away a lot of the guessing so if you are new to it or you're just trying to find the part and you just want to fix it or add to it this is the way i do it so i come in here uh put in my old serial number boom <laughs> real exciting right so it starts searching. So in this case, I know I happen to be working on, oh, it's a 200 horsepower, 3.4 V6, four stroke. Blammo, click on that guy. And what you get over here is a breakout, right? And in today's situation, we are trying to solve a bad starter motor. The batteries are okay. I want to crank the boat up today. Nada, not a clicking, not anything. Uh, the tilts work, and the, there's two batteries in the boat. Accessories all work, so I knew the system house batteries were fine. The uh, tilt motor went up and down, so I knew the main battery was fine, and I was getting no alarms on the Yamaha, on the Yamaha, sorry, Mercury uh, computer readout, the Merc Cruiser, Merc gauges, and stuff like that. Again, this could be, I, it, what's great about this stuff, too, I, like I said, it applies to cars, computers, and lawnmower, whatever. Any device, any appliance, anything machine that man makes, there's schematics out there that'll help you find his crap. So once I figured out, okay, it's got to be a bad starter. Well, what the hell part number am I looking for? So I click on this, go to the, I go to the schematic, boom. And with this, you can, let's see. Oh, there's a zoom. It's a little old school, but it works, right? It's kind of an engineering interface, which I like. And in this case, it shows you the, the outline here of the motor, the outboard, and here's the part in, in question. And you can uh, zoom in on that little puppy. You can pan. Well, you can try to pan. <laughs> Wait, oh, there we go. Ah, if you click the right icon. Now, what's beautiful here is the number, one. And it's kind of cool. Some of it's really interactive. So it says, all right, starter, number one. Boom, come down here. You can expand this. Number one, part number eight, uh, Madre 01426798, boom, starter, right? And you get it right there, man. You got your part, and let's say down, oh, look, number six. Oh, let's see, I, 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 I broke number six. Now you have a photo of it, watch. Well, supposedly they had a photo. Well, in this case, bad example, bad example. They had a photo, but there's no photo. 
Let's see, there's another photo. Oh, let's try this one. Cable assembly. Yeah, so it even gives you a photo. That looks like the power cabling to the uh, starter motor from the battery wires coming into the outboard. So very useful resources out there. Schematics are key and knowing your serial numbers on anything. This is just a basic troubleshooting uh, way of life. Find the schematics, find the part number, find your year, find and all that stuff and go to the drawings. And then that is going to save you a lot of time in finding the correct parts. And then, like I said, with the motherboards out there, there's uh, build that. I think it was called. I'll, I'll make another video on it. How to build a motherboard and find all the compatible parts. And it actually gives you links to the uh, certain stores where the parts are, Newegg, and um, even the uh, manufacturers uh, like MSI, if they're selling the same stuff, they might sell memory in that. And you just go there and pick it up. Or you can shop around. So here's what I would do I'd go over here to get the starter number. You can say copy part number. Boom. Here's the part number. You got it. A little old school, but who cares? It works. That's all I care about. And what I'm going to do, go over here. I'm just going to search for, I'm going to go Mercury. Do, 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 big daddies, big daddies. And you find this stuff and you put it in a, a Google Drive spreadsheet. So you don't have to go or look it up each time. Or you put it in a bookmark where it's safe. Because you're going to forget this. In 20 minutes, I'm going to forget this. But I know where to go to my spreadsheet and look up Yama, um, help me. Mercury parts, boom, I have a link right to that schematic. And I click on it and go, oh, but the starter's bad. Here it is. Look, this is where I actually ordered it from. The old parts for you came up with the best price. And I'm actually using this Capital One plugin. Uh, it's an extension on Brave Browser. And then what happens when I go check out? If there's a discount coupon box, it'll find me the discount. I actually saved 20 bucks off this price. It found me an online coupon that was valid at this store from using the Capital One, uh, the Capital One uh, extension. Yeah, and also I, any parts too, pro tip, do not get aftermarket parts on Amazon or anything like that for your car, whatever, mower, computer, you know. It's hard with computers, right? I get it, but we were working on outboards and stuff. Get OEM, cars OEM, get original equipment manufacturer, get that stuff. Get it. That's what I don't buy aftermarket stuff. You know, crappy China stuff is going to break. Uh, just go pay a couple extra bit, bit, uh, bucks more. And then use that Capital One plugin and you'll, you'll cut down the price as well. And you shop around too. Like some of these sites already give you 20% off. Boom. Then you pop in another online coupon. Boom. You're down 50 bucks off the MSRP as if you went to a full blown Mercury store or something like that. Yeah. So there you go. Pro tip. I know most of those, most of this is common sense to most people, but knowing there's stuff out there, interactive charts where you can say that is the part and you're looking at something you're working on and say, that's exactly what's broken. What is it called? Oh my gosh, it's called a starter motor. Well, what the heck is the part number? Is that the right part number for my year and model? And I'll look up here, guys, outboard, four stroke. It breaks it all down. 200 horsepower, uh, 3.4 liter V6. Good little motors, man. These, I mean, we, we beat these things with our little boats when we're running things around, you know, and uh, we take, we maintain them. Of course we put up, you know, we do the general maintenance service and all that crap, regular service. And they're, they're hanging in there. These motor outboards can push seven people, 24 foot boat. Boom. No problem. You know, and we, we had, a, we had a crew once of six pretty big people, Ameri typical Americans, 300 pounders. And uh, yeah, I wasn't sure that motor was going to last. So I was going to oh, come on Nelly. Just this one last trip. Just this one last trip. But yeah, you got to watch when you put big fat people on a boat. Holy crap. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it, yeah, it, you can overtax your equipment. Just like in an airplane. So there you go. A little pro tip for the day. Check it out. Uh, look for, if I'm looking for anything you need to work on or parts replacement, uh, even a stupid microphone or a stupid uh, TV, look at, look, you know, put in your keywords and look for um, schematic you know, drawing, parts, diagrams, stuff like that. And you'd be amazed what you find. A lot of useful tips out there, a lot of useful resources. It makes your life easy in finding the part and uh, just ordering the right thing the first time and maybe getting a discount coupon. If you have stupid things like me, the Capital One extension plugin and stuff to cut down on your cost. I hate replacing stuff like this because this is going to be 340 bucks out of pocket to fix a stupid starter motor, but it's an OEM part. It failed. 
we use the motor a lot and uh, boom, we're going to, you know, cost it on business, replace the motor and uh, rinse and repeat. Yep. There you go. Hope this helps somebody. So uh, for, uh, let's see, algorithm, algorithm purposes, YouTube, this is a Mercury motor outboard schematic, 200 horsepower parts list. There you go. All right. Just putting that in there for the algorithm. All right. Take care. I'm out.